What's up, Aquarius? We are going to do a Will They Return spread for you guys. This is from April 17th through April 30th, 2019. So if you're Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius, and you want to know if they'll return, this is it. Like, share, subscribe for me, please. Thumbs up if it resonates. If not, look at your Venus your moon, your rising, all that good stuff. If y'all need a private reading, all my info is in the description box below. April special is still running, obviously. All right, a couple more shuffles, and we're going to take a look. So whomever you have on your mind, Aquarius, will this person reach out? Will there be a reconciliation of some sort? Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. How does this person view Aquarius? How do they feel? and their emotions for Aquarius. How do they feel about reconciling? What are the hidden factors? What does Aquarius need to know about this person? What is the advice for Aquarius when dealing with this person? And what's the outcome? So will there actually be a reconciliation from now until the end of April for Aquarius and their person? All right, let's check it out and see what the hell is going on, Aquarius. Let's do it to it. All right. Let's see what's up. Ooh, that's bugging me. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, here we go. All right. How does this person view you right now, Aquarius? We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. How do they feel about you? Yeah, in their emotions, they have the High Priestess, sign of Pisces. How do they feel about reconciling? What do they have? They have Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. What are the hidden factors? What do you need to know about the person or the situation? We have, I just take another one. You know, sometimes in your decks you get those, um, I haven't used this deck in a long time. You get those um, cards that come in the deck. It's like the table of contents or something. Um, <laughs> hidden factors, page of cups for you guys. More Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. All right, what is your advice from the tarot? What do we have? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And what's the outcome for a reconciliation, Aquarius, for you guys and this person? The Ace of Wands. It's the Boom Boom card is what I like to call it. All right. Let's take a big fat look. All right. How are they viewing you right now? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like you're just not moving. You're not offering shit, Aquarius. Very, very stagnant energy. You're not doing anything. That's how they view you. Very, you know, just, nope, not doing it. How do they feel about you? Is the High Priestess, Pisces energy... They're closed off, too, with that high priestess. The high priestess is pretty aloof. She can be a secret keeper, he or she. Also, maybe honing in on their intuition about what to do, but more, more so just not revealing a whole lot. Neither one of you are doing much here. How do they feel about reconciling or coming forward? Temperance in reverse, sign of Sagittarius. Their emotions are just all out of whack. Also, too, they might just be very impatient, but I feel like also, too, as far as a reconciliation, something they're not willing to compromise or heal something here. You guys are both very stagnant. There's no harmony or balance as far as they see, you know, as far as returning or reconciling. What you need to know, so the hidden factors is the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This person might be dating other people with the Page of Cups, communicating with others. They might be a little bit younger than you. I'm just saying. Your advice is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Don't give, definitely don't give money. Okay, make sure that there's balance. If you want this person back, for a lot of you, I don't feel like you do with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Your advice is make sure shit's not one-sided, right? Bring stability and, or bring balance to your, your situation here. Don't give more than you're receiving. But I think, again, I think you already know that. Now, the outcome is the Ace of Wands, which is interesting. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Somebody may come in for the boom, boom, the sex, I'm just saying, it's a passionate new beginning, but also I feel like for some of you, this is just a new passionate beginning with somebody else. We're going to see, though. We're going to clarify it and see what it is. I'm going to use the Golden Botticelli deck to clarify. People often ask, so I'm telling. All right, that's what it is. The Golden Botticelli. We're going to do it. The illustrations are gorgeous, and I love it. All right, Aquarius, you and your person, will there be a return? What's up with this person, all right? How are they viewing you? How do they feel about you and their emotions, Aquarius? How do they feel about reconciling? What are the hidden factors that you need to know about this person? All right, what's your advice from the tarot? What do they want you to do? The big fat universe, Aquarius. And 
what's the outcome? So will you guys actually um, reconcile in some way? Will they return? This is for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. One more shuffle and then we'll get to it. Aquarius, who's this person and what do they want? What do they want and will they return for Aquarius? All right, let's check it out and see. We're cutting it and we're getting to it, Aquarius. All right, they view you right now as the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Not really about building, you know? Not being uh, proactive in building. Maybe you don't see any potential or anything here with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but just stagnant. Why is the Knight of Pentacles how this person is viewing Aquarius? Show us and show us now. What do we have? Yeah, the full in reverse, Aries energy. Y'all aren't taking a risk. Y'all are being very cautious. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the full in reverse, similar energy. Just being very, very cautious. I'm no fool, says Aquarius. So I'm just going to sit here and take a big fat seat and I'm not doing anything. That's what that is. That's how they view you. Whether that's how you feel or not, that's how they're viewing you. Now in their emotions, I got this high priestess. Why is this here? Pisces energy. Why does this person have the high priestess in their emotions for Aquarius? Show us. The Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. I feel like this person might just be kind of playing the field. They're remaining in their emotions. They're very closed off. They're keeping things within. And it might be that, you know, also too, that Knight of Wands can be just about sex too. You know, they're in, they're out, you know, but they're keeping that close to their chest here in their emotions. They may want to rush in, but it's for sex. I, I'm just saying, you guys, don't get mad at me. Why is this Knight of Wands Sagittarius energy? Maybe Leo, Aries. Um, but I think that they're very um, closed off in their emotions. They don't want to reveal something here. And it could be that they're rushing in for the boom boom. Why is this Knight of Wands here, please, in their emotions? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Communication, some type of breakthrough or clarity. It's interesting because, you know, but how they feel about reconciling is temperance in reverse. We have more Sagittarius energy. They're not willing to compromise on something here. They're coming in for a reason, but I don't like the reason. Temperance. Why is temperance how this person sees moving forward or how about how they feel about reconciling? Why is temperance in reverse here? Why is it here? The Nine of Swords. All right. They are in their head for sure about it, you know. Do I rush in? I need some clarity. I need some communication, says this person. And how they feel about reconciling with temperance in reverse. They also may just feel like you're not willing to compromise here with temperance in reverse. There's no balance. And it's got them all in their head with that nine of swords. Up late at night watching infomercials, Aquarius. Why is this nine of swords here? Oh my God, the nine of cups. Another nine closure. Getting towards completion. It's a wish. For them, you know, it is. Also, they might be a little bit smug, but it's a wish for them. And they're all up in their head about it. I feel like this is more they feel like you're not going to you're not gonna bring um, balance. You don't want to reconcile is how they're viewing this. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Nine of Cups can be like, let's go out too and socialize, drink, whatever, have fun. You know, self-indulgent, that kind of energy. There's no compromise here as far as they see. Okay, now the hidden factors is this page of cups. Why is this here for Aquarius? What do they need to know about this page of cups? This person might be younger than you. It could be a water sign. Uh, they might be out there dating other people too with that nine of cups and the page of cups. What's this page of cups? Why does uh, Aquarius need to know this? Hidden factors. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's young. It's immature energy they're coming in for something there's an apology or some shit here but in their emotions remember they're the knight of wands so they're not about long-term commitment they might just want to go out and have fun but they're kind of seeing you as like libra's like or i'm sorry they're like aquarius isn't about that is what is just what i'm feeling and there's communication coming in but it's young, it's flirty, it's like going out, it's just, it's more cups. But with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the hidden factors is, if you were to let this person back in, it's probably not about long-term commitment, you know? And that's why they're shown as the Knight of Wands. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for the hidden factors in reverse? The King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Could also be somebody that you are in separation from. Um, maybe that you were married to because that king of cups can be a husband I still don't feel like but I feel like their energy is more like the knight of wands You know what I mean with this king of cups energy. What's this king of cups? 
King of Cups is offering something, but they don't always show it, right? They're, you're not going to know. They don't reveal. They have emotion. Why is this King of Cups here? Why is this King of Cups here? Why is this King of Cups here? Also, too, I feel like for some of you, okay, this just came to me, too. I feel like for some of you, because the Page of Cups, the hidden factors, you have new love coming in. After an ending with this person, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it could be this King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pi. That's what you don't see. Who's this King of Cups? Who's this King of Cups for uh, Aquarius? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's a lot of change, though, with this person. It's, if this King of Cups is from your past, husband, water sign, that kind of thing, there's, the hidden factors is it's just stuck. Like, it's like a repetitive cycle. They come in, they come out. It's just, you know, they come in for passion or something like that. They're definitely in their head about it, though, about what to do. Um, your advice is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. See, there's like a lack of balance here if you let this person back in. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for the advice for Aquarius? What is this? Justice. Again, another marriage card. Do the right thing. Get balance. It, it, it feels like there was a lack of balance, one-sided. Somebody wanted more. They're the Knight of Wands. You wanted commitment or something like that. And so you're like, mm -mm, nope. A big fat nope, okay? Justice is all in your advice. If it's not somebody you were married to, then justice is all about, sign of Libra, by the way. Justice is all about you guys. Make sure this is balanced because with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, that's a lack of balance. And the justice is about balance. No one-sided shit for Aquarius. One more card on justice. What do we have? We have the Two of Wands in reverse. It's telling you to not take action. Take a seat, Aquarius, is what it's saying. The two of wands in reverse is don't make any plans for the future because this just could be kind of flighty. It's like passion. I almost get the feeling that it was like a marriage or a long-term commitment. You guys have pulled away. This person comes in for like a one-night stand or passion or something. I'm just saying. Um, there's no long-term plans. or That's what they want for you. That's what the tarot is advising you. Don't make plans because the outcome is the ace of wands. Why is this here? Why is this ace of wands and the outcome for Aquarius and this person? What is this? What do we have? The three of wands in reverse. There's no manifestation. Or like your ships don't come in. I feel like this person wants sex. I'm just going to say it. I don't care. Get mad at me, cross watchers. I'm an Aries moon. I don't care. I, I'm going to tell it like I see it. That's the energy. That's what it's saying. Three of wands in reverse. It's like you have sex with this person. There's a night of passion or something like that. But you turn your back on it, Aquarius, I feel, with that three of wands in reverse. Or there's no, um, you know, there's no planning here. You know, it doesn't manifest. Ships aren't coming in. What's this three of wands? I don't feel like it's third party energy. And I'm not feeling that. Why is the three of wands here in the outcome for Aquarius and this person? Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. But see, they come back around. Somebody's coming back around is what I'm saying. Is what I'm saying. With the hermit in reverse. Why the hermit in reverse? One more card. For Aquarius and this person's outcome. Hermit in reverse. Also, somebody may have gone back to somebody else too. I'm just saying. What do I have here? I have, yeah, the King of Swords in reverse. This could be you guys, Aquarius. Cutting off, detaching is what that is when they come back around. Don't get mad, cross watchers. If you're cross watching and you're trying to get back with an Aquarius, I probably wouldn't do it. Because this is who you're dealing with, cross watchers. They're in reverse. They're detached. They're slicing and dicing. They're not having it. One more card. So why is uh, this uh, King of Swords in reverse here? Why is it? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Also, too, for some of you, um, this person, they come in for sex. They're not telling you the complete truth. They might be involved with somebody else, too. Why is this King of Swords here in reverse? What is it? What is it? The Two of Swords in reverse. Aquarius has made a final decision. The blindfold's not on. Aquarius sees this for what it is. The reality of the situation. Making a final decision. Why? Why the Two of Swords in reverse for the outcome for Aquarius and this person? Death. I mean, can I really get any more to the point? Scorpio energy. It's the end. All right, you're putting an end to it. You're going You're going to go through some big changes, ending this cycle, shedding the skin, rebirth, starting again. I feel like for most of you, you've already kind of done that here. This person sees you not taking any type of risk. Energy is just stagnant, not moving, and you're going to put an end to it. I mean, there's really no coming back from death, I'm just saying. All right, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Love you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.